Hi everybody and welcome to our GamerGuides.com strategy guide to Tales of Zillia. This is the Nactagol battle which is the end of Act 2. Now, the best thing we can say is one, fit whatever water based um, gloves and arts that you've got. Once again, we like to stick with Alvin for sharp current pairing and also with Aqua Sweep and with Beast because they're pretty good at putting him down on his back and this guy is a bit of a tank and he can absorb quite a few hits. So Alvin is a good one to break through his defences and again the water will deal good power hit damage as well. Now the one thing we say you really 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 want to be careful of is when you get the red exclamation mark and you start, you start seeing a sword going purple. If you see a sword on, going purple and please stay away from it because otherwise if he so much as touches you then he will trigger his art and he will pretty much take out near enough the entire team in one single go. And you're going to be pretty lucky if there's anybody left and that means you're going to need to use an Amiga Elixir to, Elixir to actually get everybody back into the game. Assuming he doesn't actually then take out the last remaining person before that actually can be activated. So while certainly you can try your arm when he's got a red exclamation mark, as you will see shortly, we stay away uh, for long enough so that we don't actually get hit by it. So that's the best tips, go in with water based attacks, go in with Alvin, make sure you've got healers there, hit him with as many linked arts as you can, and effectively stay away from him whenever he has the red exclamation mark above his head, and it will be job done. We hope that has been of some help, uh, congratulations on beating Act 2, and we look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thanks for watching, bye bye. Noctagall, you have lost. I request that you stand down.